You may have seen this panda-shaped bottle at home. Do you know what it is? It's the umami seasoning Ajinomoto. This Ajinomoto holds the essence of good taste. How is Ajinomoto made? Let's all watch how. Ajinomoto is made from natural sugar cane. Sugar cane becomes Ajinomoto by a process called fermentation. So, what is fermentation? Microorganisms transform natural ingredients into useful food products. These microorganisms are called fermentative microbes. For example, milk is changed into cheese or yogurt by lactobacillus. Soybeans are changed into miso bean paste and soy sauce by aspergillus molds. Ajinomoto is made by glutamic acid producing microbe. This is how the microbes look. Fermentation produces beneficial food products. Now, let's see how Ajinomoto is made. 1. Production of cane molasses. Sugar cane is squeezed to extract a sweet juice. Cane molasses is made by extracting sugar from this juice. Sugar refiners produce cane molasses. 2. Fermentation. Fermentation takes place in a tank like this. First, the cane molasses is dispensed into the fermentation tank. The fermentative microbes are then added. This mixture is churned for about two days. What takes place during this time? Fermentative microbes take in complex sugar. Complex sugar changes into glutamic acid. Microbes produce glutamic acid until the complex sugar is gone. This microscopic process takes place inside the huge tank. Three, purification. Glutamic acid becomes the seasoning monosodium glutamate. We remove impurities with filters and active carbon. This is how monosodium glutamate looks after removing impurities. Then we concentrate the solution to form crystals. The crystallization process is seen through the window. Next is centrifugal filtration of the crystals. Finally, Crystals are packed into bottles, and Ajinomoto is ready. Now you know how we make Ajinomoto. Sugarcane grows under the sun. Our forefathers established the fermentation process. Ajinomoto is made from these blessings from nature. Umami is one of the five basic tastes. Basic tastes cannot be made by combining others. The five basic tastes are sweet, sour, salty, bitter, and umami. Umami was first identified by Dr. Kikunai Ikeda. Dr. Ikeda first studied the taste behind kombu dashi, a traditional Japanese soup stock. In 1908, he extracted the key taste substance from kombu dashi. 
This substance was an amino acid called glutamic acid. He named this taste umami. Glutamic acid was commercialized as umami seasoning Ajinomoto in 1909. Glutamic acid is an amino acid found in foods like kombu kelp, cheese, and tomatoes. Our bodies contain glutamic acid. It is also found in mother's milk. Glutamic acid, or umami, makes food delicious. Today, the word umami is used in many languages. Ajinomoto adds taste in over 100 nations. Oishisa, so shite inochi.